Jojo's got a question. What is the difference between QC inspections and commissioning inspections? So let's answer that question in today's video. Welcome to the Commissioning and Startup YouTube channel, where we help you understand commissioning so you can succeed at your projects. Let's answer Jojo's question. Commissioning is complex, especially the transition from construction to commissioning. But with the proper documentation, this transition can be significantly simplified. And this is where the documents that QC inspections and commissioning inspections are important. There are three types of documents that are important to define during this transition. ITPs, which are the inspection and test plans, mechanical completion checklists, and pre-commissioning checklists. So let's cover each of these documents. Inspection and test plans are part of the construction quality control documents. They're referred to as ITPs or inspection and test plans, and they list the quality checks to be completed once systems are installed to confirm proper installation. Inspection and test plans are part of the construction quality control documents. They're referred to as ITPs. ITPs list the quality checks to be completed once systems are installed to confirm proper installation. These are the QC inspection checklists that Jojo refers to in their question. An example of a mechanical ITP is a list of torque values to be confirmed on an installed pump. All the bolts are confirmed to be torqued at the proper values. Or it could be a list of installation verifications to confirm such as flushing of the pipes to confirm that there's no debris in any of the mechanical piping, leak or pressure testing to confirm that there's no leaks of the pipes. And these are part of the QC inspection documentation to confirm that piping is installed correctly. An example of an electrical ITP is a checklist that lists all the checks to be done on cables after they've been pulled. So this includes MEGR checking and point-to-point -point testing. MEGR testing confirms that there is no damage of the cable and that its dielectric properties have remained intact after installation. And point-to-point -point testing verifies that the cable is terminated properly to the correct terminal blocks within the automation cubicle. All the ITPs are completed for a particular subsystem. Once all ITPs are complete, we can then document the mechanical completion. Mechanical completion is the formal handover process from the construction team to the commissioning team. Each mechanical completion lists all the ITPs that are related to a particular subsystem. As well, mechanical completion checklist will list all the documentation that's required as part of that particular handover. Once all items listed in the mechanical completion checklist have been completed, the checklist is reviewed and signed off, signaling handover to the commissioning team who can commence with pre-commissioning testing. This is the second part of Jojo's question, commissioning inspections. These are defined in pre-commissioning checklists. An example of a mechanical pre-commissioning checklist is a motor and a pump that requires startup for the first time. In this checklist, you'll have a bump test to confirm rotation, an uncoupled run to confirm no infant mortality issues, a coupled run to confirm current draw, and an initial run-in to confirm pressure and flow rates. An example of an electrical pre-commissioning checklist is energizing an automation cubicle for the first time. In this checklist, it would contain basic communication checks, alarm and set point checks, control and monitoring checks, loop checks, and much more. Once all pre-commissioning inspections are complete, the systems can then be further tested during commissioning testing. So to summarize, the main difference between QC inspections and commissioning inspections is QC inspections confirm that the equipment is installed correctly, such as piping has been flushed, motor and pump have been torqued correctly, all components are aligned, and commissioning inspections confirm that the equipment functions correctly, such as it's rotating in the correct direction, and it's drawing the correct current with the proper pressure and flow rates. To learn more about commissioning and startup, be sure to check out some of the other videos shown on this screen. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our commissioning videos. See you on site.